Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Productronica 2015 and I'm joined by Scoop's very own Kim Zauer. Kim, thanks for joining us. Huge amounts going on this week on Twitter. It's been interesting, exciting. You've interviewed lots and lots of people. What's been the standout trend? I know Industry 4.0 is a big story. Have people actually been delivering on that? I don't know if they've been delivering. Some have been delivering it uh, to a certain extent. There's still confusion in the market as to what it actually means, what it stands for. Everybody's got a different uh, knowledge level about it. Uh, what I do find very interesting is that it's actually encouraging discussion, it's encouraging corporations, mm. so there's a lot of cooperation and partnerships going on, um, which before were companies that probably wouldn't have mm. even crossed each other in the aisle. Yeah, yeah. So that's really exciting, isn't it? I mean, the opportunity that Industry 4.0 perhaps gives people because they know they need to work with everybody through the process is really quite interesting. And as you say, different terms smart SMT number one factory I think is what um, ASM were using but other examples. Um, this this exhibition for the first time we're awarding the Golden Scoop, a uh, an award for a marketing initiative of some kind and the marketing efforts to deliver that Industry 4.0 have been really interesting. One of the honourable nominees that didn't win was uh, Asus and Asus, you particularly yeah. like the way they were presenting yeah. their message. I mean generally their stand was very attractive, they have um, lots of great solutions, they've also got uh, the connectivity to a, to a watch so you can um, monitor the line activity uh, basically on, on your wrist um, from wherever you are so that's already a, quite a cool tool to have but the way they translated the 4.0 message visually um, through words as well as pictures on their stand in a very accessible way mm. I thought was interesting to see because it's actually quite quite complex behind that um, and to have somebody be able to translate it in a very simple way I thought was um, a highlight here yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, very valuable and I guess one of the other ones we saw was the uh, Hitachi Robot which mm. was a good example and certainly was a, a crowd pleaser that was yeah. getting everybody's attention. Well there were actually two robots I, see, I saw. As you came into the hall there was a like a, um, what, what's the film called? Oh, With like the, Robo. the, the Robo, well, Robocop or the other one Transformers. Oh, yeah. So it was um, one of the Transformers uh, robots that greeted people and was interacting with people and um, so he was quite cool and then of course Hitachi and their collaboration with a Japanese company doing a robot that um, is flexible, it's not just a one uh, placement or one activity robot, it's actually a humanoid robot that can do multiple things. Yeah. Um, in, in that way you expect a robot to look if you if you watch a lot of films. Yeah and um, we certainly talked a lot about robotics, collaborative robotics, cobots as some people are now calling them um, on round tables and, and different discussions. The other collaboration which has been exciting is to be is to see all the media partners that we work with all taking part and putting their nominations in for the Golden Scoop. So that was really interesting. Uh, I'm able to announce that the winner is Mentographic. They have a racetrack on their booth. The racetrack was attracting people to the booth, so it was doing that first job. But what I thought it did really cleverly was actually deliver in a simple way that Industry 4.0 message. The cars were all interacting with each, with each other. They had a whole lot of different sensors. They were interacting with their environment. And there was an overall software control platform that then would look at the big picture and create reactions. So there was there was a, a read process, there was a record process, mm -hmm. a relay of that information to some software and then a reaction coming back so they would change direction or avoid collision. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really simple and really clever. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones that will be winning this year. So that's uh, that's good news. Any other highlights? You, I know you spent some time in the uh, PCB halls. Yeah, um, PCB is always quite interesting to be there just to see what's going on. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's quite a particularly dry um, subject. So, yeah. you know, to be um, to be quite innovative, innovative there is is difficult. But um, there are lots of developments coming out of that area, particularly in the um, for, for for the uh, high spec applications, materials, the materials yeah. that are for military and aerospace, um, and the certification that that is required around that. 
um, and the approach that these companies are taking to working with their customers. Mm. Uh, it's a lot more collaborative, it's a lot more at the design stage. Um, so, you know, they're just not, they're, they're yeah. not just material vendors, they're solution providers, which is actually a theme that I got from a lot of companies um, throughout the show. Yeah. That, that's, that dynamic has changed. They are producers of something, but they're working as a consultant for their customers. Yeah. And that feeds into me to that Industry 4.0 discussion and that, that trend that there are touch points now throughout the supply chain and you have to be involved in them all. Yeah, yeah. So it's talking to people. Yeah, and, and finally, we're talking to people. Yeah. And it's consultative, it's collaborative, yeah. it's all of those things. Next show for you is HKPCA in, in Shenzhen. In Shenzhen. Yep. Then we'll be off to CES at the beginning of the year to, get, to see what's new in the, uh, in the product market. That's, that's exciting. I'd like to say thanks to our sponsors for, uh, for bringing us here. Thanks very much to our media partners for, for taking part. And thanks to everybody that's been listening and has been retweeting and following us on social media. Kim, thank you very much. Thanks, Phil.